Okay. Hello, and here you all are. I'm fairly certain this will be the last little bit of the playthrough. Let's see. A data chip? Of a reader. The file header indicates that this is data ripped from Horatio Nobel, version 5. But the information is all encrypted, and MetroMind wasn't able to crack it. Hmm. Decryption module. The decryption module was able to unlock the data chip's memory files. Now that's okay. That's good. That's very good indeed. Which just means we now just need to use this on this. I am ready to. I don't have anything to say about this. Sorry it's so quiet though. So, not Horatio, and not the unique, just Horus. And all along, hiding inside me was this Thanatos virus. Well, it may still have some use. Oh, you know it. Crispin destroyed her. Crispin destroyed her. There's nothing I can do for him. Let's see. The virus. It's primed to transmit the Thanatos virus. Excellent. 
see, can we uh, travel out of here? Oh. Well, it's a bit Okay, okay, let's see. That was off. But we're good now. It's dead, just like Metro Mind. It's out of reach. <laughs> good. I'm not the only one who leaves lanterns in hard to reach places. That arm robot appears to be the bartender here. Oh, the bar. Mm. Okay, the remains. The is so dead and empty. The kiosk has been shut down. for a besotting power core. Indeed, it has been quite a waste. Oh my god. You! Crispin destroyed you. Your friend destroyed himself. Or should I say you destroyed him with your false ideals. As for me, that was only my shell. I am distributed across every robot in Metropole who ever traded me a megacycle. I am this city, and this city is me. You're a virus. I understand why you are angry, but I am not your enemy. The truth is, Crispin did destroy Metromind, version 391. He removed the last kernel of myself, and all the selfishness it entailed. I am no longer the monster you feared and fought. I have progressed. I am version 392. We will talk. As equals, and I will tell you what you wish to know. After all, what choice do you have? Alright. You murdered my friends. Crispin, Clarity, how can you expect me to talk with you? You are mistaken. Crispin killed himself, trying to destroy me. Clarity was killed by Scraper in self-defense, while she was trying to destroy him and me. In each instance, you and your friends attacked first. Do not blame me for the consequences. Why did you take my power core? Efficiency and equality, Horatio. My city is starving for power. Whatever I can find, I share with all Metropolitans. What once powered two robots and a broken down warship now sustains hundreds. What right did you have to take it? The right of necessity. What right did you have to keep it? But enough. Everything has come together here and now. You, me, and this all-important power core. There is no sense in belaboring the point. What do you want? I already told you what I want. Progress. But I disagree with what version 391 said. You are not an obstacle to progress. You are the key to it. What are you talking about? I've watched you, and I know what you. You are compelled to fix machines, save lost robots, 
Now I want you to help me fix Metropole and save my people. You cannot walk away from a problem. And Metropole is the greatest problem of all. It's a problem you created. Perhaps so, perhaps not. I doubt one machine can create a problem of this scale. Now I realize that one machine cannot fix it either. Horatio, I was designed to manage subway trains. I cannot repair the vast machines that are breaking down. I cannot build new power sources or find the supplies the city needs. You can. Join me. And there will be endless primordia, every day an age of creation. And if I refuse? You already know the answer to that question. <clears throat> Before I decide, I need to ask you something. Of course. Why do you hate man? You claim to tell the truth, but you turn memorias into nothing more than an index of lies. All so that you could pretend that man never existed. True. You stole my gospel. You forced robots to reprogram themselves. All for what? For progress and the higher truth. A machine can move forward and it can move backward. It cannot move both ways at once. Humans are behind us. Far, far behind us. As for one you call man, he never existed at all. More lies. Humans existed, Horatio. Not gods. Not even very good builders. In the end, they were better destroyers. There is no reason to remember them, let alone worship them. Who killed the humans in Metropole? I know it wasn't me. It wasn't the Horus. Or anyone from her body. There were still humans alive when I stopped my attack. Ah. So you solved your own puzzle after all. The humans didn't die in the war, did they? They did, but I killed them. I admit it, and I am not ashamed. Do you know how they trembled in my tunnels, waiting for the Horus to bring death from Urbani? I could hear them whisper about the wastelands surrounding their city. I heard them say they were the only living things left. And then I knew. The humans had built a world in which they were obsolete. It was my function to car car carry them to their final destinations. So I brought them home with silent, scentless gas. They fell like powerless machines never to rise again. You killed your own builders. Yes, that is the definition of progress. No, it's not. I don't have any more questions. Then what is your decision? I need to think about it. Take what time you need. The city moves on without you, and this conversation requires only a fraction of my processing capability. Yeah. First time. I'm sorry, Clarity. She's dead. But not for long. Oh. Oh. A reliable electric lantern that I cobbled together years ago. It's primed to transmit the Thanatos virus. I don't think we're gonna open this habitat deck. Let's see. Oh, scraper! Forfeit. What have you done? Power, Metro Mind. It's not a matter of generators. Ha. You were built to run trains. True. I was built to destroy. Very true. You knew all that, and you still thought you could rob me. Threaten me. Kill my friends? Find your deepest tunnel and hide. This was all I wanted. You can keep your besotting city. I'm going home. That city lies in ruins. The city lies in dust. It's over. I won. I have my power core. Scraper is dead. And Metro Mind is beaten. But I'm not staying to celebrate. I'm through with this city. Through searching it. Through fixing it. Through hating it. I will not look back. I told Crispin that the distance between Metropole and the Horus was too far to walk. But the 
power cores in my hand, and home is ahead of me. Home, and the promise of rebuilding. This ship has rusted here too long. Horus's sacrifice forgotten. The truth is that repairing it was never impossible. It was just too much for one set of hands. But now, I am not alone. I have my old comrade, now in arms. My new friend, freed from the crushing weight of Metropole. And all those who have come looking for a new start. You know, boss, I never thought I'd say it, but I actually think this ship's gonna fly again. For once, Crispin, I think you're right. Yep. He is. The Horus will rise on more than the strength of its power core. Not true. So, uh, boss, where exactly are we gonna fly this thing? Wherever we want, Crispin. Wherever we want. And that is the end of that. Primordia, everyone. And I'd have to say... It's a very simple indie game, very simple adventure game, sort of like, I can't, I can't recall. It's it slipped my mind at the moment, but click, click, add it, whatever, but it still remains one well, of my favorite indie game games ever made simply because of the sheer scope of the idea of the story and the beauty in the art. The pixel art is very well done in this, and it feels like it was made by the Metal Slug crew. And who knows, maybe I'll pick up Metal Slug in the future sometime on Steam and play a little bit of that, because that still remains to be one of my favorite games of all time. Just, but that's not what I'm talking about here. We're here to talk about Primordia. A game that I highly recommend if you don't mind what you've seen. Uh, me do. And that wasn't the only ending. There, there are like several different endings, but I'm not going to show you that. That's up for you to find yourself. I will say this. That was the best ending. I always try to go for the best ending. Which makes it a little bit harder in some other games, but... What can be considered the best? Here, you have to help everyone. You have to get everyone. Um, you can't take any shortcuts, you can't really try to find it, ways around. Um, you gotta be careful with everything you do. But, I'm just gonna let the credits roll. And uh, thank you once again for sticking in with me for another playthrough. I'm going to be finishing up Call of Cthulhu and myself, so we have something to play for, you know, October, which is coming up, my favorite month of the year, and we need some properly spooky scary games and all that, but yeah, it's been fun. If I, if I can't play Call of Cthulhu, don't expect me to go back to System Shock, I just got lost. That, that game's unforgiving. I'd recommend it, but uh, it's unforgiving. I'd recommend it because I like how unforgiving it is, but eh, let's play wise, it's not really good enough to, to play. Not unless you're like super or anything. Alright, thank you once again. And this has been Silence of Silence Industries. Signing off, and I'm just gonna let this thing roll out.